Hey everyone, I just wanted to make a video on uh, how to use long division to divide polynomials. So uh, to start with, I'm going to kind of go back and deal with some of the long division that you've seen before. So suppose for a second that we wanted to divide 2 into 4,347 using long division. So you might remember the kind of process for this, but let me just kind of refresh your memory. First thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, take a look at the 2 and the 4 in front of 4,347, and we're going to say how many times does 2 go into that 4. And we know that it goes in twice, so we write that 2 up there. 2 times 2 is 4. Okay, And then what we're going to do is we're going to subtract those two values. So 4 minus 4 is 0. Next thing we do is we bring down the 3. And we repeat the process kind of over again. So we say, how many times does 2 go into that 3? And we know it only goes in once, so we place it 1 up top. 1 times 2 is, of course, 2. We subtract uh, 2 from 3, and we get 1. We carry down our 4. All right, and then we ask ourselves, how many times does 2 go into 14? goes in 7 times, which is 14. We subtract these 2, we get 0, and last thing, we bring down the 7, and we repeat this process one last time. 2 goes into 7 3 times, which is equal to 6. We subtract the 2, and we get 1. So uh, we get a remainder of 1 in this case. You guys probably have learned in the past uh, how to deal with, uh, with the remainders such that you don't actually get a remainder, but we're going to stop here for a second, and we're going to consider what this means now. So once we have a remainder, right? what this means is that we can actually say that uh, 4,347 is equal to 2 times 2,173 plus our remainder of 1, right? So we have one more than kind of a, a full multiple of, uh, of 2 in this case. That's kind of what we mean by a remainder of 1. So we're going to repeat this process with a different set of values. Actually, it's not going to be a set of values at all. We're going to look at some polynomials. Right? So for example, we're going to divide 4x cubed minus 3x squared plus 47 by x plus 2. So we're going to set this equation or set this, uh, this division up the same way. So we're going to place x plus 2 on the outside here, and then underneath our uh, long division, we have 4x cubed minus 3x squared plus 0x plus 47. So I want you to take note of that plus 0x. Now, that doesn't actually appear in the original polynomial I have up, uh, up top there, right? 4x cubed minus 3x squared plus 47. The thing is that we want to make sure that every single um, possible exponent of x appears in our long division, okay? So if, if uh, you're kind of skipping a term, right, make sure you place it in just with a coefficient of 0, okay? That's why I have a plus 0x in there. Okay, so we're going to proceed, proceed kind of similar to how, how we did before. Uh, first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this x and the 4x cubed, and we're going to ask ourselves, okay, uh, what times x gives me 4x cubed? Well, the answer is, of course, 4x squared, so I'm going to write that up top. And we know that 4x squared times x is 4x cubed. That's kind of what we need. All right? Uh, but then what we're going to do is we're going to multiply that 4x squared that we came up with that t up top by the plus 2 that we have in our in our binomial. So we do 2 times 4x squared, which is, of course, plus 8x squared. Okay, And now we have a, a kind of set of binomials that we're going to be subtracting. So 4x cubed minus 3x squared minus 4x cubed plus 8x squared. Right? So the 4x cubed minus 4x cubed part, they, they cancel, right? We, uh, we're going to get 0 from those. Um, but the negative 3x squared uh, minus 8x squared, well, that's going to give us negative 11x squared. Okay, so now that we have this negative 11x squared, we have to carry down the next term. Right, so we're going to carry down the plus 0x. All right, so uh, carrying down the plus 0x, we, we do repeat the process over again. We say, uh, what times x is equal to negative 11x squared? Well, negative 11x times x gives us negative 11x squared, so I place negative 11x up top. Right, which again gives us negative 11x squared, and then I multiply that plus 2 in our binomial by negative 11x, which gives us negative 11, or sorry, negative 22x. We repeat this by subtracting. The negative 11x squared minus negative 11x squared is going to cancel, and when we do 0x minus negative 22x, we get 22x. Okay, we're going to carry down the plus 47 now, and we repeat. So what times x gives us 22x? Well, we know that we are going to multiply by 22, so we put plus 22 up top. When we multiply 2 by 22, we're going to get 44. So when we fully multiply those out, we're going to get 22x plus 44. And we subtract, which gives us a remainder of 3. Okay, so uh, again, we get a remainder, right? Uh, and that means that uh, 
we do not have a complete multiple of x plus 2 here. So I know this is kind of, this seems kind of more abstract because we're dealing with polynomials, but we do not have a full multiple of x plus 2 that goes into 4x cubed minus 3x squared plus 47, okay? We're kind of three, three uh, too many, I guess, from a, from a full multiple. So what this means is that we can write this out as 4x cubed minus 3x squared plus 47 is equal to x plus 2 times 4x squared minus 11x plus 22 plus 3. Okay guys, so that's how uh, to divide polynomials using long division. Take care.